Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sly Cooper in and the Thievius Raccoonus, whatever. In the last episode, we had entered the Panda King's levels and got the first one done. Oh, I'm gonna be honest. I know earlier I said Mugshot was my favorite, but I don't know if I said this yet, but this is definitely my favorite. What's the point of all these hidden, these hiding spots? These can turn invisible. Which is also the most useful thing in the game. Just gonna make a point saying that too. I think I've figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue, but unfortunately it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Treasure keys, smasher keys. <laughs> the Flaming Temple of Flame. That is the best name for name for the level they can come up with. Oh, this level fucking sucks. Okay. My puppy has been sleeping there. I never noticed that. And she's adorable. Uh, oh. Despite its temple-like facade, this place is really some sort of training ground. Stay on your toes. It is certainly a training ground. Is not. Is it? Is not. Is it not? Are you trying to use uh, the old language? Is it not? I'm trying to make I'm trying to everything in fast motion because I'm trying to make this a good LP. Oh, hey, how'd that get there? Oh, I already got there. Okay, I don't know much about that. Oh, that guy instantly sees you. That is, oh, that is crazy. I forgot how great this level is. But I guess considering this is an LP, this is an LP, and you watch all the other episodes before this, you should have the uh, fast motion by now. And. Uh, yeah, if you don't have the fast mo if you don't have the fast motion, I really do suggest you get it. It's the best power in the game. It is uh, really useful because you can do things like this really fast. You can get up things like that really fast. And you don't have to put the video clip in fast motion when you're an LP here as well. It's also really useful. Get out of the way, sir. I love you have to be like stealth with a flashlight guard, so everyone else is just like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Speaking of games where you have to be stealth, Batman, Arkham City, and Asylum, and Assassin's Creed 3, or th oh, 3 is what I've been playing, Assassin's Creed in general, those are all games that need LP. <laughs> I need Batman games and the S Assassin's Creed games, because they're both, all both really good series games. Oh, come on, get up there, Batman. Get up there, Sly. Batman. <laughs> Sly Cooper is Batman. So many hidden rooms in this world, I swear. Or hidden things in this world, at least. Okay, I can try to kill all those guys, but that would take too long. And I don't have that kind of patience. Is there anything back here? I think you can actually uh, glitch it and like do the sidewalk around it without walking up it. I love this piece of the little like noises and stuff. <laughs> Break this, you can actually jump into this area here. Hardest bottle in the game, right here. To get without falling off at least. Oh I did it, okay. I I I really suggest if you're a new player, just fall hell just fall down, doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't like kill you or anything. Like you see, I fell down anyways. I just gotta climb back up. I'm so good at playing this fast motion. I want to put that. I want to hit the gong. I wanted to hit the gong, so I hit the gong. So let's do this side. Let's do something Nothing over here. Now wait. Over down here. Don't get on that just yet. This is that part right earlier? I... Fuck! Okay, I'm just gonna climb back up. It's normal. 
I'm gonna use the cutout effect in my the cutout effect. Yeah, cutting videos out is an effect, people. Your computer instantly recognizes where you messed up and cuts that part out. And uh yeah, you can only show the scenes of new stuff in the game. Why did I do that? Oops, that's that glitch I was talking about. God dang it. I'm trying to rush this level too fast. Okay, also get, getting back up and down there. It's just a little platform where you just hit it and it moves. Oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna do this the easy way and put it in fast motion. Oh, screw that. Screw that, bro. Let's <laughs> do it the easy way. Oh, you're going. Platform, where are you going? Platform, broski. Bro, 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 platform. I need you to get up. Thank you. Also, I don't know if the left, if the right ear goes out or not. So over here, more bottles. Oh, I'm here now. Okay, I need to be up here, but there's some bottles over here too. Oh, I got them all. Okay, this is the world. This world's usually harder for me. I don't know why I got it so easily. Oh, here's the end, though. Put those little dragon statue things. I don't know why those uh, hooks alternated, but it was beautiful. I'm gonna jump over all these mother freaking lasers! But I have to turn off these lasers, they're getting annoying. That's what I'm doing, dumbass. Lucky for you, I burst in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. 932. Why does it sound does that code sound generic to me? I don't know, I just feel like someone will put 932 just generically. Incredible! I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. And high gravity, that's pretty useful. <laughs> I know there's a water and gravity one, but I don't know. But is there one where, uh... I think there's a fireproof one, I'm not sure. I really ain't. Also, this is the last world that's going to have bottles in it. Just gonna say that right now. Gonna, not really a spoiler. Um, the last world of the game doesn't have any. Just gonna say that right now. So, uh, almost done with this shit. Where are we going to? The Unseen Foe. Oh, this one's where I have to actually use the invisibility. Like a boss. I'm just gonna skip all this stuff here. So I'm actually in the level. Um. This looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. Oh, hey, look there. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Yeah, I think the invisibility trick was one of the dumb things to add. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought it was thing you should they shouldn't have added. It's in the uh, other games, but it's not like you just press circle and you can do it whenever you want, willy nilly. There's like a special kind of power you have in the other games you use for like in, for like all kinds of tricks, like uh, smoke bombs and shit. And, uh, you know, just like bonus powers you need to actually buy with coins. 
Um, turning invisible is one of them powers in the sequels. And to do it, you need power. Which I think I don't know how you get power. I think you use health to get it. But I'm not sure. I don't know. It's not hard. To get. I think it's. I don't even know if you can, how you get it. I, I really don't. I need to look into that sometime and figure out. Yep, there's slot. I've got burned. I've got burned. Ladies and gentlemen, my grammars. Oh! Look how good I am at this. Wow, I'm going to be a pro one day. When I grow up, I want to be a pro football player. No, I'm just kidding. I would actually hate that career. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I could never do that, even if I could do it. Too much effort is required. Um, what's up here? Bottles. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be a small little cookie. Because he was guarding bottles and I wanted them. Oh, I could've just jumped down. Or assassinated him from above or something, I don't know. Oh, my dumbass, oh, that it's all. I'm gonna stop using the fast motion for a second here, because it's getting me in the bad positions where I don't know what I'm doing. The bottles over here? Wow. I could have just not bothered doing them right now and just come back after I broke the alarm. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, then. This game has really good parkour. I don't care what anyone says. Like not, it's not like hard parkour, but it's cool. Like Sly's version of parkour is just really cool. And you don't really think of it as parkour back at the time because it didn't. Well, parkour wasn't as big of a sport at the time. I don't even know if it was a sport at the time. I don't know if anyone did it, but I don't know. It's always like one of my favorite things is parkour. I've always thought it was cool. This is the hardest battle in the game right here, right here, by the way. Not in the game, but <laughs> pretty hard. The hardest one in the game was the one in Miss Ruby's life. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six, six. Oh, that one had me thinking for a second there. At all the possible numbers. <laughs> Why would you do that, Bentley? Why would you do that? You found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. Is it still on there? Is the code still on the door? I'm just curious. Yeah, it is. So I guess you could memorize the code if you wanted to. Memorize all the codes from one one playthrough. I don't know if you can go open the vault right away from that one playthrough, but... And that was me falling down the edge. Holy crap! Wait a second. Okay, for a minute I thought one of the lasers was shaped like, uh... That's how you get rid of of the alarm. Does this look familiar to anyone besides me? Yes, this is, does indeed look a lot like the, uh... Beginning of the game, when you jump into that one elevator shaft. Okay, we're over here now. So we get the last level of this part done, and we're gonna end it there. 
Oh no! Oh, never mind. Hurry's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. Oh, I thought for a second this would be a racing level. And I was like, oh, none of this. Can't die. That bell is significant in the third game, if anyone knows what I mean. Why does Murray need to make the run for the key, by the way? Just curious. What is significance about Murray compared to Sly? How'd you die? I don't even know what happened. Oh, I'm going in, Sly. So I shoot ahead a little bit. If I can sh oh, I can. Plan ahead right there. There are guards everywhere. <laughs> Sounds different each time. That's a good effect. I may you, I I'm just standing here shooting a can. Why why does why does Murray get to do all the work? You keep running, Murray. Yeah, these guards will uh attack Murray. And uh, I think he did that in the other one too. They had flashlight guards. Yeah, he did. They did because they had the ones that were walking across the buildings. That was the worst. Holy crap. Holy crap! This is his neck there. It's like his cape turned invisible. His cape. Okay. <laughs> Also, that's his old design. I'm so used to his new design. I don't know. His old design seems weird. Let's do this. That big conglomeration of rockets. It's beautiful. Also, this door. Let's find the break. The trajectory of these rockets, and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. 
But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. I wonder if you can actually be blown to bits by that. I'll see you guys in the next one, where I will be blown to bits. I'm just kidding. Okay, blown to bits. But still, see you in the next one.